Get him, Fox! Pew, 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 there he is, Android. Pew. Oh, I'm recording. You play with planes, too. OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays. Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, y'all already know the vibes. Let's give the stream a thumbs up. 400 is going to be the new like goal for every video. 400 likes. Everyone watching the video, give it a thumbs up right now. We have some dope 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 nintendo switch news items for this video the first one is a doozy game designer takaya imamura <coughs> the game designer for f-zero and Star Fox, has retired from nintendo now he's been with the company for a long time 32 years to be exact but he's finally packed it up um he tweeted out a tweet talking about he took a selfie of his empty office and he's leaving um nintendo seems like he's leaving on good terms retiring but he was the um, designer for these two storied franchises and it caused me to wonder What's going to happen with F-Zero and Star Fox? Now, of course, one game. A game doesn't hinge on one single game designer, engineer, one person. You have a team of developers, but he probably was, for the last 20 of his 30 years at Nintendo, just sitting at his desk twiddling his thumbs. Um, when are we going to do uh, <coughs> another um, F-Zero game? Uh, Star Fox Zero, but can we do another one? And so, uh, these are two franchises that Nintendo fans can't admit Nintendo have been neglecting, especially F Zero, bro. We haven't had an F Zero since the GameCube. Come on, man. Nintendo's been showing Mario Kart a lot of love, and rightfully so. Mario Kart sells like crazy, but F Zero is another dope game that we need we need license it out to shannon the dudes that did fast racing neo or something that, that developer um license it out um quality control it make sure it's a quality product you cannot after decades of not having f-zero come out with a trash f-zero game but we need a new f-zero and Star Fox for that matter bro Star Fox zero had potential but the um, controls for the game, the Wii U gamepad killed it. Just give us a traditional Star Fox shooter and we'll be happy, man. Man, I want a new Star Fox game. Um, add some multiplayer in it too. All right, where you could do the single player with four different ships online and they have their own perspective on the stage. Come on, Nintendo, make it happen. You can thank me later. All right, so he's gone. But as old talent, talent leaves, new talent comes in and nintendo even for the switch we can see that they've been hiring talent um even the face of the member the switch presentation in 2017 a completely new dude i forgot his name but he was like the face of nintendo during the launch of the switch so you gotta you gotta keep it fresh stay up to date hire new talent um so we'll see what happens with f-zero and star fox all right next news item a new trailer for um a new free-to-play mmo on switch um skyforge skyforge is a mmo coming to the switch and it comes out february 4th we just got a new trailer new trailer just dropped so um if you're into mmos there you go bro you got a new one 
Next news item. Bro, I have to admit, this is a game I haven't been showing any love. I might get on it one day, see what the hype's all about. Ninjala has just passed 6 million. Did I? Did y'all just hear what I said? 6 million downloads worldwide, which is a huge, huge milestone for the game. It's listed as a free, it is free to play, but it's listed as a battle royale. Is it a battle royale? Is it like a whole bunch of people? I, I haven't played the game, so <coughs> I'm going to try out Ninjala one day. Um, but Ninjala has just hit over 6 million downloads, which is fantastic, fantastic uh, for the game. Uh, it looks like, a, of course, a spinoff on Splatoon. You can tell the game was definitely inspired by Splatoon. But something about it just never pulled me in. I might give the game a, a second try. Uh, I'm going to give the game a second try. But good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. These Nintendo games are selling like crazy. Speaking of selling like crazy, bro, Capcom has just increased their sales forecasts, their financial forecasts for the upcoming fiscal year. Usually, companies decrease it. Capcom is increasing it. It seems like they're expecting Monster Hunter Rise to do extremely well. You got Resident Evil 8 coming out on next-gen consoles. And so Capcom has increased their sales expectations for the upcoming year. And I just tweeted this out on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. Mark my words. Monster Hunter Rise will be the all-time best-selling Monster Hunter game ever on a Nintendo platform. Watch. Even those crazy DS sales. Watch Monster Hunter Rise um, sell extremely well on the Switch. The Switch has just been a phenomenon. Because what's so dope about the Switch is, and why it's different with the Wii. The Wii sold crazy consoles. But the software sales were a little sketchy. Because uh, people just bought it. They got Wii Sports and they're good. That's all they, a lot of aunts, uncles played. The Switch has fantastic hardware sales. And the software sales have also been off the charts. And so Capcom has increased their expectations for the upcoming fiscal year. Much on the rise. The demo is now available if you haven't tried out the game. Um, the the demo is pretty dope. I'm ex I'm impressed at how the game looks and runs, but uh, there is one hiccup with the demo with the frame stuttering, and Capcom has confirmed that's not going to be in the final product of the game. But fantastic, fantastic! Can't wait to play this game uh, with the sponsors uh, on the gaming channel. And the last news item for this video, as I said yesterday, Hitman 3 Cloud version has launched. And I actually tried out the game on the Switch via the cloud. And I was surprised. The game, when I first started, it was a lot of stuttering. I think they were uh, adjusting to my internet. I have crazy internet. I got 1,000 up, 1,000 down. Um, but it, they, I, I got a message that actually popped up says due to network congestion, they had to adjust uh, my resolution or something. Uh, and it seems like it wasn't on my end. It was on their end because the game just launched and there was a lot of people um, probably downloading and using the service. But overall, it was a great experience. My one complaint is the resolution. It was a little blurry. It looked like it was about 720p. But cloud streaming, if you have a fast internet, you should have a 4K option if your internet can handle it. And my internet can handle it. So, um, I, and, I, and don't quote me on this, but I do believe in the final version of the game. Because I was playing the trial version just to see if my internet can handle it. But I believe in the final version of the game, you can actually choose options on um, resolution settings, hopefully. Um, but Hitman 3, the cloud version, is out. Good to see that the Switch got a triple A game launching day and date. The game definitely gave me um, 007 
GameCube from Russia with Love Vibes. Um, those I love I love those third person um, Bond games back in the day. We all know first person Golden Island 64 was iconic. But that's all the news items I got for this video. I'm gonna go back to playing with my pew 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 get a box clown pew pew. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, oh man, I didn't have my bro. Yeah, I do. Before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.